we've also added one other productivity enhancement feature for four axis and that's a new method called rotary instancing and I'm going to uh, demonstrate that in our plugin for Rhino which is Rhino Cam. Now this method is great when you have parts that have the same features being repeated in multiple areas. So you could be programming a rotary instancing and using a combination of two, three, and four axis operations to repeat or instance the same operation on multiple areas of the same part. So in this particular example, I have three operations, a facing, a profiling, and drilling. And as you can see, these features are being repeated multiple times. Now, in our earlier versions, we had to go ahead and create a rotate table setup and then program, repeat the operations for each of those, each of these. So I would basically end up with six sets of these operations in here. Now, with the 2017, what we have introduced is a new method called rotary instancing. Now, this feature is available in expert, pro, and premium configurations of our mill module. So as you select rotary instancing, you can now specify your incremental table rotation angle. So in this particular case, that would be 60 degrees. And you can set the number of table rotations needed. So I'm going to specify 5, hit Generate. And you'll notice that the rotary instance operation has been created. Now I can drag these operations into the rotary instance operation folder. And now when you select the rotary instance operation, you'll see that the the toolpaths have been instanced, so basically you have your rotate table instances being created automatically without having to have the need to go back and program each of those phases by creating multiple rotate table setups. The rotary instancing will take care of that for you automatically. So we'll now go into the simulate tab and run a verification for this. So I'm going to switch the stock to a cylinder stock from a being a box stock in here. And run a simulation. The rotary instances can also be fully simulated. And there it is. And when you post-process these toolpaths, you will see those instances being output in your post-it code. So you have your first instance, it outputs the A value for the rotation, and then you have your instance number two, it automatically rotates the rotary table by 60 degrees and it repeats itself automatically.